I'm, I'm really disappointed when you think about what's occurred. Uh, so many Americans, Tennesseans, people all across this country are concerned about their economic future and what's happened is uh, people have taken advantage of that and stuffed a lot of programmatic spending into a bill, things that they've wanted to do for years. And most people understand this is going to have nothing whatsoever to do with stimulating the economy. And so here we have $800 billion that uh, generations will pay for into the future for many, many generations. And yet we have still not solved the credit issues that are plaguing our country, that are keeping small businesses from doing the things that really create jobs all across our country. You know, I think people in America feel taken advantage of on several levels. You know, first, first these fat cats on Wall Street got rich uh, by trading these assets, and these uh, realtors got rich, many of them, because they sold uh, these mortgages to people or basically marketed them. And people like the guy we had on our show moments ago signed on for these crazy mortgages where they were they paid interest only. Now they're facing foreclosure, uh, and yet, right. and yet still, the answer from Congress is. They're going to spend more of the taxpayers' dollars. Spend more. Right. The answer is more. And right. they refuse to say that this is it. I mean, do you believe, Senator, right. that if and when this $800 billion doesn't do the trick, we're looking at, an, at another bailout of 800 or more? Now, Tim Geithner, uh, the Treasury Secretary, was in our banking hearing the uh, day before yesterday, and it's very clear that uh, the administration is going to be back for a lot more money in the end of the future. And, Again, I think that's what's so distressing. I mean, it's, we have blown this wad of money, okay, that uh, is not directed in such a way as to create jobs, and yet we know more is coming. And at some point, at some point, our ability to borrow money and have people have faith in our country is going to dissipate. And once that happens, it's very hard to get that turned around again. So, no, I'm, I am discouraged. And, uh, uh, and yet, let me say this, we want to continue to, to try to solve our credit problems. I know that people across, this is a time for us to actually come up with real solutions. And uh, I, I'm, I'm so disappointed right now that the administration, again, has chosen this is an opportunity to really spend programmatically. The thing that's going to be so distressing, I think, to Americans in a couple of years when they wake up is that with this $800 billion that has been spent, they're not going to have anything really to show for it. I mean, I could see some, some uh, infrastructure spending that would have some permanence and really help our country into the future, but very little of that type of spending is taking place, and we're going to have nothing to show for this in a couple of years. Tell me whether this is right, because we get a lot of emails from our viewers, and, and, and what, I, what I gather from them is they look at this bill, and it looks like the... the, the the White House and Democrats in Congress said, all right, we need, a, we need some sort of a stimulus bill. Economists are saying we need to spend. And so they did come up right. with some sort of a wish list. They, you can't call them earmarks because they didn't stuff them in there at the last minute. They were open and notorious about it. They said, look, I need money right. for the construction in my area, and I need money for highways in my area. And they just came up with a laundry list, their wish list, right. and that's why you had so few Republicans voting for it. That's, what we're stuck. that's our new stimulus bill. Or am I wrong? Well, no, there's no question. I mean, look, I, I want this president to be successful. Our country needs for this president to be successful. The world needs this president to be successful. And I have, from the very beginning, been reaching out uh, to many, at many levels in the administration to work with them. But in essence, what happened in this package was, was stated. They said they won, and they're going to write the bill, and they have written the bill. And unfortunately, again, we're going to be paying for this for many, many years, and yet we still have not addressed, again, the base problem. Our economy, our economy cannot flourish until such a time as people have faith in the credit markets and that people that are in your cities and in my cities and cities all across this country have the ability to get lines of credits, to borrow money, to yeah. do those things they need to do to expand their businesses. And, that's and we still have not addressed that. Still not they happening. still do not have a plan, and we are very concerned. Well, Senator Corker, we appreciate you coming on and sharing you. your insights on it. You. you guys got a big job ahead Thank of you up there. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Uh, here is